Sonia, could you please introduce yourself? Thank you, sir. I'm very glad to introduce myself to you. I'm Sonia from Mahbubabad. I have completed my schooling at Takshishila High School with 8.1 GPA, where I have learned to be independent. Then I have completed my intermediate at Sri Chaitanya Junior College with 90.60 percentage. Then uh, I completed my graduation in the stream of Computer Science and Engineering with 70 percentage. Fine. Sonia, how many projects have you done in your you know, I have done one project about three tier architecture. In this three tier, when you are doing this three tier project, or do you face any issues and how do you resolve this? Yeah, I have faced some issues about uh, uh, connection between submits okay. and all. How do you resolve those? Key points. Okay. Fine. In this tier architecture, what is first tier, what is second tier, and what is third tier? App tier, mm-hmm. web tier, and database. So first comes web tier or app tier? Web tier. Web tier. Fine. App tier and then? A deck. So, how many subjects do you have in this? Six subjects. So, how many public and how many private? Two public and four private. Two public and four okay. private. So, my question is, how can you make the apartment as a public? How can you make this apartment as a private? From availability zones. Okay. Uh-huh. You created two subnets. Two subnets. Fine. Yeah. But how do you make this subnet as a private? How do you make this subnet as a public? How? To connect uh, VPC. You create the VPC. Yeah. Under VPC, you create the subnets. Yes. And my question is, is this public subnet? Yes. Assume that this is a private subnet. How you confirm this is a public subnet and this is a private subnet? So, what you make to make this public this subnet as a public? What we have to do is make a, as a private subnet as a private subnet. As we know, private subnet while connecting SSH client to the VPC. Okay. Now you have two public subnet and four private. Four private. Fine. So, what other components are involved in this? So. Is load balancer is involved? Yeah, load balancer. Okay, if you know the load balancer. Uh, How do you create a load balancer? What are the steps? You need to create instances. Okay. Then connect to the server. Okay, fine. Uh, then connect to the server. Okay. Then create a load balancer. Uh, directly you create or you create something group? Some uh, security From security group. Security group or target group? You First need to create target group. Target group. Then go to security. So you create a security group? Yeah, yeah. So already you, already created the, yeah. you already created the easy to instance. Yeah. Now, to create a load balancer, what is the first step? Instance. Instance secu- uh, 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 servers are already created. Yeah. See, look at this. One, web tab. Yes. Two, app tab. App tab. Three, database tab. You created the instance. Instance. Done. Yeah. So, now what you do? You create the load balancer. Yeah. Before going to create the load balancer, do you create any group? Target group. So, once you create the target group, then go to security. Load balance, auto load balance, load balance, load balance, Yeah. So fine. What is the load balance protocol? To balance the load. Load balance protocol. There is some protocol and port number also. HTTP. Por, uh, yeah, HTTP and protocol and port number is. Yeah, point eighty. Just eighty. Yeah. Point eighty. Okay, yeah, but you need to call it only eighty. Fine. After this, is load auto scaling is also involved in this? Yeah. So how do you create the auto scaling? Then? First, I uh, need to create target groups. Then target group is already done with the load balance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are, you are done. So you need to create AMI. Ah, uh, yes. AMI launch template, launch template. and then auto scaling. Web pair you need to create. Yes. For app pair also you need to create. Launch templates. Uh, you need to create auto uh, yeah. load balance and auto scaling. Yes. So finally it comes to the data. Here you take single DB or multi AG cluster? Multi AG cluster. So, what is the advantage between the single DB and multi AG cluster? Why we use multi AG? To prevent the any uh, access like. Uh, accident a little bit. Ac- okay. Uh, okay. So, the data uh, loss, we can prevent from the data pre- loss. Yes. Okay. What happens if writer instance fails? If it is fails, uh, a database also collapsed. No. Whenever the writer is uh, if, you, if you go with the multi AG cluster, there will be one writer and two reader. Yes, one writer. So writer fails, reader will become? Main important thing. Uh, writer, writer, if writer fails, the reader will become writer. Resource. And then, and then writer will become? Reader. Reader. Yes. So that your data will be safe. Safe. If you go with a single DB, then it is? Collapse. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. So, have you heard about the CloudFront service? Yes. How do you use Cloud? Cloud delivery network access. Content delivery network. Content okay, delivery fine, network absolutely access. Correct. To managing the network, images, videos to control. Okay. What is Cloud Foot is? It is a serverless computing service. Serverless. Computing service. So Lambda is a serverless. So it is not serverless. It okay. is highly available domain, domain name system. Okay, fine. Uh, right. Here we can run the code without any using provisioning and uh, you have a thinky zomato dot in dot com, right? Yeah. You everything is ready. So where do you buy these domain names? I told you about the 
godaddy whole thing there and all these things right you you would buy from there and you you need to the application yes that is what route to this yes e n s domain name domain name is so there are lots of policies in route to this have you heard about policies in route to this yeah failover yes uh, simple storage yes simple simple routing simple routing okay. so you get route they get route geo location, geo location. Right. and what is have you heard about acm yeah. what is acm amazon certificate manager okay. so don't uh, this can you get your uh, website as a secure no no so after you in this uh, we can secure our data and uh, uh, go through is yeah. what is amplify i'm not uh, go through into the amplify okay. thank you